More on that in a moment. We're going to welcome our Associated Press writer, Bernie Wilson, back to the Sports Trail. You can follow Bernie on Twitter, at Bernie Wilson, at Bernie Wilson. Bernie? Yes, Pablo? Uh, football games getting canceled. Is this a sign, a symptomatic of the declining Ooh. participation numbers? Boy, it could be. Um, it's unfortunate for both teams, obviously. Well, Cathedral's got 150 Especially, guys. I mean, right. they're, they're, they're no problem there. But, uh, but their Lincoln, senior night gets blown out. Yeah. You want to play football. But Lincoln, if if they have to do it now, I mean, what's what are the do they have freshman JV and varsity? Well, or? that's a question we posed to Coach David yeah, Dunn. Take a I listen mean, to this. It's very unfortunate. Um, you know, here at Lincoln High School, we take pride in whoever we play. Um, Cathedral is a great program, um, one of the top programs in the, in, in the county. And, um, I mean, we've played them on numerous occasions. But, you know, when it comes down to have 18 kids that practice on Monday and three of those 18 are guys that we pull up from JV, you know, it doesn't, doesn't make any sense to add to my injury total um, this far into the season. So to answer your question, well, yeah, they have a okay, JV have, But maybe they don't have, uh, I would think at any, a uh, lot of other schools you could pull multiple kids up from JV. I've seen that happen. And even a JV kid going up against that it's war machine brutal. of Cathedral. It I mean, is. That front line is so, so big. Yeah, Dunn made the right choice, but you're right. It, maybe it is, maybe bad things are coming down the pike as far as number, For numbers. For all people criticizing Lincoln, uh, I didn't hear you criticizing when Castle Park canceled back-to-back -back games. I didn't hear you when Francis Park was criticizing, so you can't criticize Lincoln for doing the same thing. That's a good, you know, the coach, it's good, kudos to Coach Dunn for having his kids' best interests in uh, mind. Bernie, uh, yes, you have, because you wrote so many tuition checks, you have, I want to ask you one St. Augustine question. Sure. A Friday night, a bunch of games were postponed due to lightning for safety reasons. No one argues about that. But the, some teams considered a no contest and the game didn't play. Uh, Madison was down to St. Augustine. The probability meter said Saints by 92.7%. Rick Jackson wanted that game played, so Monday they went and played. And Rick Jackson showed everybody why you play until the final whistle because we have video here. Uh, I mm -hmm. think this is captured by Brandon Stone on his uh, cell phone camera. We'll see it in a bit. His Super 8? Yeah, he's on his, like, yeah, his Super like 8. The grassy and wall. Madison pulls off the victory, which will have playoff implications. The uh, the importance of playing the games that didn't get played Friday, you say? That's the beauty of prep football. I mean, I would rather see something like this happen, even though, you know, I guess Saints had a couple of turnovers. Um, and as a former Saints dad, you, you do want the Saintsmen to win. But kudos to them. To both teams for finishing up, and kudos to Madison for, for pulling off the rally. I would much rather watch that game on a Monday than a San Diego State Air Force game on a Friday night. <laughs> How about that? All right, moving ahead. Uh, if the Dodgers don't get past the Brewers, have we established who our scapegoat's going to be? Is it going to be Yasmani? Uh, Yasmani and probably Dave Roberts. I mean, he's you, you, it's easier to fire one guy than 25. <laughs> but Yasmani has not had a good series. <laughs> I mean, you not. feel terrible. Yeah, and he's not starting tonight. Yeah, yeah. boy. I mean, you just love watching You can say a lot of things, but we won't. Okay. Uh, Brady had the masterful performance in the Sunday Nighter on NBC. Uh, Aaron Rodgers had the big performance on the Monday Nighter on ESPN. Brady versus Rodgers. Brady versus Rodgers. You say? Brady. Why? G rings? Rings. G-O-A-T. Go. Greatest of all time. Five rings. Um, uh, Rodgers is not a bad second, third, whatever. He's got one ring. He's a Holiday Bowl veteran, too. <laughs> yeah. uh, Brady, supermodel wife. Uh, Rogers going out with Danica Patrick. You can take it a lot of ways, but <laughs> I'm going to go with Brady. All right. Continue our NFL theme. Joey Bosa's younger brother is going to go pro. He's going to forego his senior year at Ohio State. He's not there to get a biology degree. <laughs> and can you imagine Which how Which Bosa's better? Uh, to be determined. Um, but this injury makes it a little bit hard to... Uh, to really judge them straight up, but I, I'm thinking how many millions of dollars the Bosa family is going to be worth once Nick is drafted and has his bonus. He's number one on Mel Kuyper's big board. Uh, he probably should be. Okay. But uh, well, head to head, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the Mountain West Conference basketball coaches gathering in Vegas. Mm -hmm. uh, the scribes say Nevada is going to be the top yes. ranked team. Uh, you say? Nevada. I mean, State is picked number two. State beat Nevada. They got crushed up there early in the conference season. Beat them at home last year during that crazy nine-game winning streak that launched them to greatness, semi-greatness. Beat them again at the tournament, I believe, in the semifinals. 
But then State, after winning the Mountain West Tournament, lost to Houston. Our Saints guy, Trey Kell, missed that yeah. heartbreaking three at the buzzer. Nevada with Eric Musselman, who could have been coach at USD, but is <laughs> we could go a lot of ways with this. And it's very short for a, a basketball guy. Um, they made it. They had that crazy comeback in the second round, made up like 22 points against third-seeded Cincinnati, made it to the Sweet 16. They have the Martin twins, so it, that's a good. That's a legitimate pick. In so Aztec fans, sorry. Encyclopedia like that's knowledge. Weird. That's what we're uh, here for. But now we're out of time. We can't yeah. go okay. uh, Bernie, thank you very much Pablo, for, thanks for having stopping me. by. Here's what we have going tonight on the ASR. Only two prep stops. We're also going to be out at Del Mar for the Get to Know the San Diego Goals gathering there. So we have all that coming your way. Maddie Sinclair has a great story. So does Rick Willis. So tune in tonight, 1045 on the ASR. I promise you we'll hear from the guys in Las Vegas, uh, the Aztec basketball team, as well in the next hour. See you then.